Save valuable editing time with AutoCAD 2012 by establishing and maintaining a set of relationships between arrayed objects. After you select the objects you want to array, dynamically preview the array while you modify its properties. In this example, I'm creating a rectangular array of parking spaces, and I want to change the base point from the center of the parking space to a corner. I can enter values for the number of rows and columns, or simply drag the cursor to visually specify the number. While I'm at it, I'll snap to existing geometry to specify the row and column spacing. The great news is, the exact numbers don't really matter. In AutoCAD 2012, the array is associative, which means the many different array properties are maintained with the array and can be easily edited after the array is created. Simply select the array object and you'll have instant access to its properties. On a rectangular array, you'll find multifunctional grips to adjust relevant properties such as column and row spacing. In this example, I've appropriately set the row spacing, but I'll add more rows to fill up the parking lot. The rectangular array is looking pretty good, but zooming into the lower half of the parking lot, it looks like one of the parking spaces interferes with the building design. With associative arrays in AutoCAD 2012, this irregularity is no problem. Pressing the control key, I can select individual items in the array. If I had somewhere else to put this parking spot, I'd move it, but since I don't, I'll just erase it. In addition to erasing or relocating individual array items, you can edit the source geometry to update all items in the array. In this example, I've decided the car block is too overwhelming in my parking lot design. So, editing the source objects, I'll erase the car block and draw a simple diagonal line through the parking space.